Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. It is December 5th or 6th, 6th I think, and we are out on the water, same general area that we were last video. See if we can uh, make lightning strike twice. Uh, but I'm not thinking lightning, I'm thinking like icicles right now because it is brisk out here. 30 something degrees, pre-sunrise, uh, and a lot of wind, so kayaking was definitely not an option, but I'm hoping we can make this work out again. Uh, hopefully get on some better fish, restock my freshwater supply, and hopefully getting on some action. So stay tuned, because we're about to get some fishing accomplished. All right, giving it a go, it is just before seven, I guess. And of course, my hooks are messed up. We're gonna start off the Binsky blade bait. We're gonna cast that. Drag it real slow along the bottom and see if we can get on some action. It's pre-sunrise, so this is the time to make it happen. There we go. I think this is a half ounce or three-quarter ounce. I might need to upgrade that three-quarter because the wind is howling. See how this goes. And I got it out there. Just gonna let it get all the way to the bottom. Sink down. And I'm just gonna drag it along. Well, we switched different baits. We were fishing a Binsky blade bait before, but now we're gonna fish a Sabeel Vibrato. This was the lure that did it in, uh, did in one of the fish we got last week. And let's see if it does the trick again this week. Damn, it's cold. Fish on. Hit on the drop. Not a big one, but it's a fish. All right. Another Laker. Woo. Acrobatics. Then the death spiral. Ugly, ugly net job. But we got him. Just let me chill out there for a sec, get a quick shot. These fish are very good at unhooking themselves and making a mess in the net. Wet the hands. Quick shot. One down. All right, we just let go of that lake trout. First fish of the day broke the ice. And ice is definitely the right word because it is brick-like ice right now. But you know what? We got a fish, so it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, just get it back out there. Fishing this bit, this, uh, sorry, not a Binsky, but uh, Sabeel. And this is the lure that I did some work with last week, but the idea is I just get it down to the bottom and I'm just lifting it and slowly reeling in the slack. Maybe two lifts, reel in the slack. Really nothing too fancy about it. You definitely don't want to go too fast. And uh, yeah, it's, 
not the most exciting kind of fishing, but this time of year you can't really be uh, too picky about what you'd go after. So just really take your time. If anything, if you question whether you're fishing it too fast or not, then, then you probably are. So I really recommend taking your time, slow reel, and just make sure you feel that vibration. If you don't, that means uh, you might be on some sediment or vegetation and you got to get that off so that's what i'm doing and uh we're gonna keep that up and see if we can get another one definitely a bit sheltered from the wind here which is nice Let's see if we can find some fish now still throwing the sabil still doing the same thing trying to get on that hot cold winter bite All right, I had to take a moment to warm my hands up. I'm basically doing three casts. After every three casts, take a break and warm up the hands and turn off the camera. Sometimes the camera does wonky things and the batteries start to run out. And the batteries run out a lot faster when it's cold. So yeah, that's a thing. But we're just grinding through and I'm hoping I can catch for you another fish. It's true. So stay tuned. This is just what I do sometimes to kill time. Just start saying random bull to myself. And usually when I do that, something jumps on. Because it's embarrassing. One more in this spot. All right, third battery pack. Third or fourth, I'm not sure. These things just really are not meant to deal with the cold, that's for sure. And neither am I to some respect, but you know what? We just gotta plow ahead and do the best we can. Cause we are here to catch fish and get it on film. because it is December and I live in New York City and there isn't much to do in 2020 this year. <laughs> so this is what we do to keep ourselves sane and actually get something done. And that warm apartment's gonna feel all the better to be inside all day today after being out here. Braving the elements. All right, making a move. Looking for deep water. That's what you gotta find for these fish. And Navionics definitely said this is a deep spot. So, Let's see if I want anyone's home. somewhere else different area same area well different area let's just say never fished this spot before oh well oh there we are first cast first cast what do we say first cast let's go feels decent Better than the last one for sure. Uh, yeah, that one's legal. Yeah, maybe not. That's a fish. And we dropped everything in the water. First cast. That's what we like. And he just knocked himself. 
even better. I don't really want to keep this fish, but got to get a shot for sure. Pretty guy. Let's see if I can get this out. I don't know what kind of shot I'm about to get with these trees. But we're going to get our hands wet. I don't seem to feel that bad right now. Let's see if we can get a shot of this fish and get him on his way. This one I think actually might make 18. Woo! just not. Cool, right? Yeah. Little nature action. Alright, let's get this guy on his way. I know he wants to go. So away he goes. See ya. All right, first cast in this new spot and got a fish. Uh, seems to be the name of the game. If there's fish around, they'll hit, but uh, active fish that is. But if they're not, then you don't want to waste too much time in one spot. Let's see if that one had any friends. Got my hands wet for that fish. Let him go. I feel like I'm kind of used to the water now, so I'm gonna try without the gloves. Sun's starting to go a little higher in the sky. Probably got an awful picture of that fish, but whatever. It's really hard to get a shot without killing the fish and or getting backlit. So I decided to get a little backlit, but spare the fish. That one probably would have made 18, but I didn't feel like measuring him. So yeah. Like I was saying uh, before, whenever I said it, <laughs> um, really fishing slow right now with this blade bait. And the other key thing is you have to find deeper water for trout, lake trout in particular. It doesn't need to be the deepest water, but it can't be shallow. I mean, they may hit the shallow sometimes, I don't know, but that is not the place you typically want to find them. They do, I think, work a bit shallower this time of year, but again, uh, you want to be looking for water that's in at least, I'd say at least 10 feet deep, but ideally something that drops off into much, much deeper water. All right, we just got snagged again, lost another vibrato. So we've up to the only other size we have, which is three quarter ounce. So hopefully this will still do the trick. Um, we've got a fine fish first though. So many dang leads in the water. How do you even manage? <sighs> okay, so due to the way that I'm editing this video, it probably looks like I'm just hustling from one spot to the next, but I'm probably giving each unique spot I'm fishing, at least, at the very least, 10 minutes to fish. Um, and I'm casting out, letting it sink, and then really working it back slow. And like I said in one of the previous clips, like every single spot that I've gotten to fish, at least up until this point, I'll find out pretty quick if there's something they're willing to bite. Um, later on this trip, you're going to see me get a few hits that don't come right away, but... Long story short, I ended up moving to a different area, and the reason I'm not telling you about it is because uh, there was another guy fishing nearby, and I didn't want him to think I was crazy. Uh, I, won't, I don't typically commentate if someone else is nearby, but uh, well, I'll just let the clip speak for itself. fish on. Oh, dang it. Damn it. Whatever. So, yeah, I definitely had a fish on in that last clip. And a couple interesting things, especially as I'm watching this the second time through. Uh, you might have noticed right as I had that fish, right before I did, I flipped the bale open and let it sink down. And this kind of stresses what I said earlier in the video. You definitely want to stay close to the bottom 
in deeper water when you're going after these fish. Uh, I realized at that point that I was not making contact with the bottom, so at that point I dropped it down. And quickly after I started reeling back in, that's when I felt the fish, and it was a very, very, very light tap. Um, these fish can be very subtle when they hit, so you really, really have to pay close attention to your line. Um, even more tricky is a lot of the time they'll hit on the drop, and if your line's slack, you will not feel it. So you have to be very, um, be paying very close attention to what's going on with your line. Uh, and that's going to be an issue again later in the session. Uh, but I'm obviously a little upset about it. The bite's not hot, and every single bite is you know, your one and only chance it feels like. So this was definitely a missed opportunity. Let's check this out. All right, so we missed a fish a few minutes ago, I guess. Not so much missed as lost, but uh, it's definitely fish in this area on top of the one that we already got, so. I'm on my last uh, vibrato. Definitely have to re-up on these. But there's a lot of debris in the water. It's very deep, so I have to let it get all the way to the bottom. Like watching my line, it's still going down. All right, we hit bottom. I'm not gonna fish here too long. There was another guy fishing this area, so it's already been targeted a bit, but perhaps I'm throwing something that he wasn't. Sometimes it makes all the difference in the world, the type and presentation of the lore you're using but uh, I got to get going soon try here a couple times and then a couple casts then try one or two other spots and then we got to call it a day one more cast oh oh that's something the last one all right another new spot let's get somewhere with a little more area to stretch out this might be it for me let's see how this goes I'm out of uh Sabiles. now all we have left is uh Binsky's Binsky's and a whole bunch of other stuff that is not vetted for lake trout but this can do it I have confidence in this lore. Definitely deep. Good. All right, this is probably be gonna. This is probably gonna be the last spot. Oh, that sucks. This is probably gonna be the last spot that I fished today. I gotta get packing it up. It's about 11:40. Gotta get home and rest and get ready for the next week. It's Sunday. See if we can get one more fish before we go. Got him. Fish on. There we go. That's what we're, that's a good one. That's a much better fish. This is the one we're going out on. Much better fish. Oh my god. No. Damn. Oh, damn, Daniel. Damn it. That sucked. Yeah, that really did suck. Uh, as I expressed in the clip, that was 
a fish that was in a completely different league than the ones I had been catching that day. Uh, yeah, and I would have happily ended with that fish right then and there, but it wasn't meant to be. So, yeah, I had to call it at that point. Uh, I tried for a few more casts to see if there was any miracle that that fish would come back, but did not happen. Did not happen. So that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you guys are liking this uh, foray into fishing the New York City drinking water reservoirs. If you like what you're watching, uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, I'm probably going to get back in the spot a couple more times and maybe some, explore some of the other uh, drinking water reservoirs. There's definitely some nice fish in there, uh, though it is a challenge. But on days where it's too windy to get the kayak out, uh, it's one of the best options on the table, I guess. So hope you enjoyed. Hope to have more stuff for you soon. As always, thank you for watching, and goodbye from fishing.